Hi, welcome to Stories for Kids and Fun Toys. Today I am going to read a very interesting book, Stay at Home, Lily and Wilbur by Weller, Thomas and Corky Paul. Winnie the Witch and her big black cat Wilbur loved to fly about on her broomstick and look down at the crowds of people on the street below. But now the streets were empty and Winnie and Wilbur had to stay at home. The scientist on the TV said, Stay at home to keep everyone safe. Here are some things that you must all do to stay safe. Littering broomsticks cried Winnie. It will be hard staying at home all the time. Keep washing your hands and don't touch your face, said the scientist. Wilbur liked to lick his paws and wash his face. So Winnie made Wilbur a special collar. Wilbur didn't want to wear it. He wiggled his tail angrily, which tickled Winnie on her nose. Ah, 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 went Winnie. Be sure to coat your sneezes in a tissue and then throw it away, continued the voice of the scientist. Ah, tissue. When Winnie grabbing the tissue, Wilbur handed her. Winnie washed her hands with lots of lovely bubbly soap and sang a song while she washed. rub a dub plinkety plink I'm washing my hands in the sink. She sang loudly. Wilbur washed his paws too and popped the bubbles as they floated past. Come on, Wilbur, let's find something fun to do, said Winnie. Wilbur pointed at the computer. I know, said Winnie. We can get it. Wait. Winnie and Wilbur tried out an online exercise class. And now get your hula hoop, said the instructor. One, two, three. Yum. Watch out, Wilbur, cried Winnie, as their legs tangled together. Let's make some yummy pumpkin lunch now, Winnie said. So they went into the garden and Winnie picked up the biggest pumpkin she could find. She waved her magic wand, counted to three and shouted, Abracadabra! And then on the kitchen, pumpkin soup pie and pumpkin cake. Delicious, said Winnie. Now eat up, Wilbur. After lunch, Winnie got her books out. Come on, Wilbur, we need to keep up our learning, she said. I can help you with your spelling. But Winnie wasn't very good at spelling and Wilbur had to help her out. Meow, said Wilbur. Yes, good idea, Wilbur. Let's paint a picture of a rainbow and put it on our, put it in our window but winnie only had black paint she so she waved her magic wand abracadabra suddenly there were lots of colors and wilbur looked like a rainbow too Meow. <laughs> what's that sound wilbur asked winnie all winnie neighbors were outside their houses making lots of noise to thank all the carers let's clap as loudly as we can cried Winnie. Hip hip hooray! Then Winnie had an excellent idea. She waved her magic wand, abracadabra, and rainbow appeared over the whole street. What a fun day, Wilbur said. Staying at home is not so bad after all, especially when we have got each other, said Winnie. We have just got time for a story, and then let's go to sleep. Purr, 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 said Wilbur, settling down to listen to his favorite book. So, that was the end of the story. Please share your comments and tell us how you're spending your time at home.
and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe now for listening to more interesting stories and playing with fun twice thank you see you in the next video